the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Congrats, Jake. What a victory here in England, beating an English fighter. A back and forth battle that was unbelievable, right? Yeah, man, it was awesome. London's awesome. You know what? Something like that. That'll wake you up in the morning, boy. Forget coffee. You just get one of those in in the morning. You're good to go. Now, how did you see the fight going back and forth? You, ha you had him down early. Then he had you down. Yeah. Then you came back. Honestly, it... <laughs> I dropped him with that first overhand right, and then I got a little bit too hungry for it and he started catching it. He was a bit slower than I thought he would be with his in and out. I thought his dashes would be faster, but some of his punch, I thought his punches were faster than I thought. So, and he hit a little bit harder than I, than I gave him credit for. So we kind of played rock'em, sock'em, robot. We both, we kind of canceled each other out. He was trying to be slick, I was trying to be slick, and we were missing a lot. So then we were like, Fuck it, let's just throw right hands. And then mine was just a bit harder. How did you feel after you've been down on the floor? When you got up, how, how were your legs? I was fine. I was fine. I could have got up earlier, but you want to play, dude. I'm a, I'm a wily veteran. I'm a 36-year-old. I've been fighting for 20 years professionally, over 40 fights, pro kickboxing, pro MMA. I've done underground bare knuckle years ago before BKFC was around. So I wanted, it was a clean shot. I didn't see white, and I was fine, but I wanted to take the full count. But uh, it was a solid shot. I, I, in the back, I was like, he's not going to be able to put me down, but you know, much respect to Connor. He hits hard. It was basically a battle of overhand rights, right? And this is how the fight ended. Would you have given him a chance to continue at the end? I Look, this is the same thing that happened in my last fight. I stopped Gertz on a cut. It was a bad cut. But Connor's a warrior, and I'll rematch him anytime. And, you know, I don't like it when they stop fights like that because I'm, I'm a guy of honor, and I want to give a warrior a warrior's death. And I didn't get to give him that warrior's death. I wanted to put him to sleep. But I'm not a ref. I'm not mad about it. I understand why he's mad. I would have wanted them to let it go because I wanted to go hard that last round and blow the fucking roof off, but I can't do anything about it, so. You said before the fight you were going to chew him up in the clinch. Uh, was that part of your game plan? And yeah. did it work out? It didn't work out the way I thought when I got him in the clinch, I was going to be able to chew him up a bit more. He was actually a lot better. Um, I got a little, a little bit too greedy for the overhand right. I honestly could have thrown it more, but I kind of, you know, when you land a solid shot, you want to just keep repeating it. I had a dream, by the way, I knocked him out with overhand right, so, you know. But uh, your game plan didn't go. I didn't fight. Honestly, I don't think I fought very well. I, I can fight three, four, five, five times better than that. But um, it is what it is. I, I'm sure he had, he had problems and he didn't perform at his best either. So. How did it feel stepping into your opponent's backyard? Any nerves in there or you felt comfortable? I feel comfortable, man. Like I come from a long line of um, warrior ancestors. I've had like, um, you know, see the movie Braveheart? You know, that big fat guy, his friend, that's an ancestor of mine directly. So I really value my... Um, my English heritage. I have ancestors from Wales, I have Scottish ancestors, Romanian ancestors, and I have that warrior blood in me. That's why I still fight. I, I'm 36, I've been fighting forever. I, I, I could have retired, you know, five years ago, but I got that fire, baby. And you know, I don't think it's ever going away. What advice would you give Connor now? Uh, you know, he's a good talker, he's a showman. Can he come back? Oh, for sure, dude, he, there's no shame. Like. Connor's really popular, and, and, and props to him for taking this fight. I'm not really that well known, even though I should be. The people who've been around for a long time know how dangerous I am and know how good I am. But I'm not really like a big social media guy. I'm, I'm more in the real world. I have kids, I have a business, I'm really focused on real life shit. But yeah, he can come back, you know, easily. He's very technical. He's a young guy, he hits hard. This is a learning experience, man. And he has some fucking balls. Connor, I respect you a lot, you have some balls. A lot of guys wouldn't have got up after that first overhand right, but he came back and, and started banging. So he's, he'll be fine, man. He'll be, in five years, I'll be retired and he'll be a champ and, and we'll have a beer. Now this is a stacked division, right? The welterweight division, he was ranked number five. Now you took over his spot. Do you want a title shot next? Whose fucking belt is it, baby? Yeah, of course. Come on, I look. Look, I'm a quiet guy, I'm kind of a weirdo, whatever, but dude, let's go. Go, go, let's go. Paul Amino, let's do it. I, I'm a guy who loves fighting tough guys. Look, I'm a warrior. I want to fight real warriors. I don't want to fight any non-ranked opponents. I'll fight anyone 65 or 75. Don't care. Title shot, though. You said it, Dave. Dave Feldman, don't, come on, boy, don't do your boy dirty. You said title shot. Let's go. <laughs> Question, did you ever know what was the deal with the bra yesterday or the bikini top that he had on? 
Oh, you wanted to look pretty for me, baby. He wanted to look pretty. I have no clue. I think he has OnlyFans sponsors. So fair play to him. I told him he, I was like, how the f am I supposed to be all mean in your face now? You're coming out there with a bra. But I have no idea, man. That's it. That's, that might be a thing you guys do over here. I, I don't play that shit, so. <laughs> now you have a lot of experience already, MMA and also bare knuckle. What's the biggest challenge to prepare for a bare knuckle fight? Man, there's just nothing like it. Baron, I, I've done, like I said, pro kickboxing, MMA for years. I fought for the UFC, fought for Bellator. I'm the current unified super lightweight champion. And man, there's nothing like bare knuckle. I think BKFC's done a really good job. The, it's, it's, I prefer watching BKFC. I, I, I don't really watch MMA anymore. It's so exciting. And it, it's a pure combat sport. There's no, you can't block, you can't sit there and Philly shell. You have to kind of rely on more instinctual stuff. There's nothing like getting hit with a bare knuckle. I'll tell you that, it'll wake you up. So, you know, there's just, to be honest with you, there's just nothing you can do to get ready, ready for it. You just gotta get in there and get it done. Any family or sponsors you would like to thank? Whoo, yeah, um, I had this whole speech and then I got punched in the face and now I can't remember. I want to thank everyone who supported me. Like I said, I've been around for a long time. I've had my up and downs. A lot of people kind of, you know, earlier in my career, I was undefeated 19 to 0. And then I lost a couple people stopped believing me, but I, I never quit believing in myself, man. So everyone, Jennifer, Joe Wilk, my boy over here, Pedro, my mom, my mom just passed away. Mom, that fight was for you. My mom died last month. So um, yeah. Jason, every, everyone, you know who you are, man. I love my kids, I love my family, I love my community, Manhattan, Kansas, stand up. Um, also, by the way, this is off topic, but free Andrew Tate. Free Andrew Tate. Andrew, if you need some loyal, strong muscle around you, so I'm gonna get you back at all times, I could use a job, so hit me up, baby. I'm Gypsy Jake Lindsay with Bare Knuckle News, and nobody beats us to the punch, let's go.